My feet just fell. <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> enjoyed our stay in Quebec City. Our days have been eventful, full of training, eating, playing board games, and enjoying the view from our beautiful Airbnb. After all this, it was time for a relaxing day off. However, JF had a different idea for a relaxing day than I did. Okay, today we go on snowmobile ride here in Quebec City. Uh, it will be really fun. It's very good condition today. Minus uh, 15 degrees, little snow. Trail really good. Your friend is coming back. There he is. Okay. Oh, we start oh, slow. Man. Now we go to the, the gas station. I need to put gas in this too. We stopped at a cabin to rest our sore legs and enjoy a mountain view before heading back and witnessing the complex web of what seemed like country off-road highways. It quickly became apparent that it's an integral part of Quebec's culture. What's up, bro? We're, we're, okay, so we, we, just just got, <laughs> we just got back from snowmobiling with JF. Snowmobiling? Yeah. Uh, I'm still I, wearing snowmobile clothes. <laughs> I, uh, what a hell of a day. This guy... But he, I thought I was going fast. I did 100 kilometers per hour at some point. I also crashed. I flipped my snowmobile over. Roadmark ended up crashing too into a tree. I, I thought I was like a speed demon out there. Jeff was going 180 kilometers per hour. But now we're in the gym rehabbing. I feel, I feel like I have sea legs. It's weird. Like I, I feel like everything, like I need to be doing this the whole time to be getting ready for bumps or something. It's not so easy to do. No, my legs are so tired. Yeah. But now we're doing some rehab, getting ready for tomorrow. Uh, just uh, waking up our stabilizers and hips. Then we're gonna do our shoulders, and then some some stretching, and then tomorrow we lift again. Yes, I went. I was good balance because uh, I do a, lo a lot of uh, competition of alpine skiing. Uh, on I think since. From eight years old to sixteen years old, around something. Oh my gosh. What? Something, yeah. Wow. Uh, when I was young, I lived just ten minutes to the ski resort. What? Wow. You said at some point you were able to do like squats or Swiss, yeah, Swiss ball. Swiss ball. I have a really good balance, wow. but I think uh, I'm rusty a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exhausting, long day, epic first experience snowmobiling with JF. He showed me how it's done going twice as fast as I ever did. <laughs> and I ended up crashing. But anyways, now we're doing rehab, getting ourselves ready. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing overhead, so enjoy. Yeah, we got the uh, rules for the events in the Arnold. For the knee, knee wraps, we cannot exceed two meters. Originally, they were allowing three meter wraps, which kind of worries me because right now I have an injured knee uh, from the Rogue Invitational doing the dumbbell. Uh, I tweaked it quite bad during the dumbbell press, so I'm trying to, really hoping we could use three meter wraps, which are above IPF standards, but they're going down to two meter wraps, so I'll just have to make that work. Other than that, uh, single ply suits allowed. They might have two boxes that we can we have to touch down on so like world strongest man yeah like world strongest man uh in addition to that a monolift so uh, so they don't have to step back I so assume. yeah it'll be a monolift yeah which i think is not 
It'd be cooler if we were to step back, but then again, uh, okay. Yeah. I don't it saves us energy for the rest of the contest. I don't mind. True. As an athlete. Is it going to be judged? Is it going to be by parallel? Uh, it's going to be by parallel, which is higher than uh, powerlifting standards. I think powerlifting at the brake parallel here, it's right at parallel, which is not that low. Yeah, this is above what I train. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Um, it depends. If it's with um, with some kind of blocks to bounce off of or to hit down on, I think I like being at parallel. But without the blocks, I just am not, I don't know when to stop. Mm -hmm. I just like the glass of grass because then I know it's a solid lift. So it's like I have to train myself to know when to stop. The monster dumbbell lift, I mean, it's pretty much what we expect. Um, and we're going to train that today with JF. Yeah, we're going to be training that today. And it's, Basically going to be 275 pounds for 90 seconds max reps. I feel good. feel much better after the rehab we did yesterday. I, I was pain uh, in the hip after squat and now it's disappeared. My shoulder also feel better. Then we'll see what happened today on log press. Because I recovered from injury, I injured my rotator cuff on the right shoulder in Rogue Invitational. Uh, I got PRP in November and it came slowly. But uh, I don't know what kind of weight I can push today. So this is your, so this is your first pressing workout since real invitational. Yeah. Okay. What do you think of two meter straps? Uh, well, it's special because everybody has SBD straps and uh, it is 2.5 meters. Then we need to cut a little bit, but in my opinion, it will change nothing at the result at the end. The same guy will win. Doesn't matter. The rules, the rules. In my opinion, it would be better without suit, without knee reps. There's, there's going to be a mono lift. It's a mono lift. Yeah. yeah. So there's nothing. And there might be, it might be two pads like World Superman. Ah, okay. Well, not bad. Yeah. And they said in the rules. Not bad, but if you if you cannot and you're not able to walk out your bar, you're not a strong. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer walking out. But... <laughs> To be, to be truthful, guys, I am exhausted. I am tired. But uh, there's a cure. I'm gonna drink this rain and get this workout on. Tired ain't nothing. I want to get a crisp, but somewhat on the heavy side of a log. I'm hoping, depending on how my shoulders, how my neck feels, I want to get up to 380, maybe even 400. But it all depends on uh, how 360 feels. Like number one. I need to hit 360. I want to make sure it's crisp, fast, and relatively painless. And that'll I'll kind of judge from there. And then after the log, I believe we'll work on some dumbbell pressing. And it's the same goal for dumbbell. I want to be able to hit at least 220 pounds, nice uh, and crisp, and then work up from there. You're gonna to want to do this. Okay. Very slow. To lift the log now, and I feel less pain, but uh, still not 100%. But it's I think right. the, war the warm up helped me a lot. Now it's 265. My goal is 335 for today, for first three. injury to shoulder it's a lot of pain when I try to go down with that arm here and in pronation too neutral position is much better than me in the in the at the moment I think I cannot press an axle then I'm very happy it's a lot I think this log is less than 12 inches it is 10 inches oh shit it's 10. that makes it harder too uh, in rogue it's 12 right yeah yeah okay yes yeah, this bit smaller that's why, okay, I felt like this is different. If you guys don't know, a smaller diameter log is harder to clean yeah, than a so bigger log. Makes it. What's up? Maxime has a, so in competition, 
The JF's best with this log was 430 pounds. Maxime Boudreau comes up, he does uh, 432.5. Uh, and basically strip pressed it. Then more leg drive. Okay. I need more training. Yeah. Because uh, until there I cannot train. You know, just very lightweight. Yeah. It's too painful. I think it will be improved fast. to uh, pressing the 10 inch log normally go the oh, the 12 inch so it's different on the clean put, put a lot more because I, I had set my belt too low and I uh, tried to clean it from too low of a position on my stomach and put a lot of pressure on my elbows Two, one, drive. 
So it comes down, then I pause. Up, yeah, good. Pause, yeah, get that strong pause. Pause, good, yeah. This will help position for the dumbbell. Yeah. There you go. It's hard to go deep. Yeah. The pause will hopefully help you yeah. get the shoulder back. Stretch it. Left side will be easy. Nice I never did. You never trained biceps? Not so often. I train them. Oh. Maybe because I do arm wrestling in the past. Maybe. I'm it's not bad in this. It's insane. Like, you don't even train. <laughs> or. <laughs> Finishing off with a superset of side raises with uh, went to front raises. And I think that'll be it. Unless JF wants to do something else. But I really don't. <laughs> what a special treat all of this has been. Oh, this is all a special treat. Is, you know, no one really gets to, very few people get to train with JF or see what he does. So it's been really awesome to be in on this experience. Uh, I mean, this guy's been a legend in this sport for such a long time. It's made a huge impact on my career. Uh, been a mentor to me, been a mentor to many people. And still continues to show up and push all of us to be our best selves. Because, I mean, that squat and deadlift are just still ridiculous. Because you know, I learned a lot of things from Martins about uh, recovering, stretching, also mobility stuff. You know, I know he's very good in that type of exercise. Uh, we have the chance also to talk a lot, of, a lot about uh, food and stuff like that. It's always benefit, you know, to have a world-class athlete working together in the same gym, you know, during a few years, uh, a few, few days, sorry. And uh, I always want to learn, you know, I'm in the sport since a very long time, but it's, all, it's important to don't think you, you know all, you know. I al always want to learn something new, learn from my uh, competitor. And uh, it's why I like strongman sport, because the camaraderie in between the athletes is very good. It's a proof of that we do this week here in Quebec City. I'm very proud Martin's come here to train with me. Water bottles on the wall. Can I do what? There's two water bottles on the wall up there. Yeah. Okay. I'll go get them. Okay. What's going on, man? What explain to me? The pump, dude. I cannot get this shirt back on. Just try it. This is me trying it. Oh. Oh, I need to get a different shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just saw Martinez, Quebec is a beautiful city. I'm Love so, it. I'm so it's glad. Soul. It's got random fires you can sit by. It's like RuneScape. It's really cold. My feet wanna, I think my toes 
for turning into icicles. Yeah. Which Romark would be terrified by. Hey, Romark's number one fear is icicles, you guys. Yeah. Never know when they're gonna come at you. It's a they, real. They, you could just be walking down the concern. street and get impaled by an icicle falling. More people die from icicles than sharks. They do. We actually looked at the statistics. You know, in Russia, over 100 people die from icicles every year. Uh, in in Chicago, Chicago, you guys, if you live in Chicago, better to stay inside during winter. Icicles are a real threat. Yeah. Right now, the icicles are not so bad here, but we have seen a few. Uh, there's some right there. Look, right there. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh, look out, Stanley. You, you can just you come can be, up to this wall. You can be smoking a cigarette right here. You're dead. And then it's, your, your life's over. Yeah. You thought you were just getting comfortable leaning against the wall. Yeah. Icicle. Yeah. Hope you guys like this episode. We did a lot. We put a lot of soul and heart into this. We want to make strong man bigger. I personally just lifted weights. Yeah. We want to make strong man bigger, approachable, and we're going to be the only YouTubers to travel around the world to find hidden strength. We're going to go to the dark corners, the dark, dark. recesses of the world Peace. to find strength unknown. And if you like this, leave us a comment. If you don't, just say, just say, like, stop doing this shit. It sucks. Yeah, just tell us that we suck. Yeah. And we totally listen to you guys every time. Every single time. Every time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching our first edition of Strength Unknown with Jean Francois Caron in Quebec, Canada. I'm Martins. And I'm Romar. And I hope you guys keep watching because we're going to be coming out with more of this stuff as we explore the unknown. But it's also unknown. We don't know where we're going. We don't know, it's unknown. We gotta train for Arnold. Arnold's come first. And but after that, maybe Big C. We don't know. Or Matthews. We'll see. It's unknown. Totally. Thank you.